Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today we're talking about the new iOS 26.2 which is coming out really soon. We should actually have this update released to the public in less than two weeks now and of course it brings a ton of new features and changes. So in this video I will show you guys all the new features and changes that you will find on this update. Now before we get into all that I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. Most of you guys who watch my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel so if you enjoy the videos and you want to see more of them make sure hit the subscribe button it really helps the channel a lot and we're starting things off with the lock screen of course we have a really cool new feature that now allows you to adjust the amount of liquid glass on the clock on your lock screen so they will have the slider right down here so just like you have the slider where you can make the clock thicker or thinner now you can also change the amount of liquid glass with this slider right here which is really awesome now another change you will find here on the lock screen is on the notification center so now the clear buttons are also on the liquid glass which haven't been here before now they are liquid glass and of course they look really really cool with all the new liquid glass design of ios 26. now one of the best things that you will find on this update are the new animations just like we saw at wwdc 2025 where apple presented the ios 26 for the first time you will also get them right here on your device with ios 26.2 and you can see how cool those animations are they're actually really really awesome and now let's move on into apps we have a bunch of really useful features first of all we're talking about reminders So you can see right here, when I go to set a new reminder, I have an urgent button right there, which means that it will basically set an alarm for that reminder. This is a feature that people have been asking for for a really long time. And now Apple will allow it to do that, so you can now set, rem set alarms for your reminders on iOS 26.2. And we also have a new feature for AirDrop, airdrop will now let you stay connected with someone that is not on your contacts for 30 days via a pin so you will share a pin with that person and you will basically be able to share content with them without having to just verify every time and now also when you go to your settings and you go right here under the airdrop you will see right here manage known airdrop contacts so those contacts will be right there and you can just view the list right there and you can manage it from here the podcast app on iOS 26.2 also has gotten some really cool new features. First of all, we have chapters. So right here, we have auto-generated chapters, which is really awesome. It also now features mentions, so someone in this podcast can mention someone, and you will see links to their profile. But also, it can show links, like it will show links from this episode. So on a podcast, if there is a mention, let's say, of an album, of a music album, you will actually see a link for that album, which will take you to Apple Music. It's really awesome. It will do that with other things as well, and not just Apple Music, so it's actually very, very useful. Now, talking about music, we have a couple of very cool new features. First of all, offline lyrics. Well, offline lyrics will work for songs that you have downloaded on your device. So songs that you can listen offline, they will also now have lyrics, which is really awesome. Also for user created playlists, if you use Apple Music, I don't use Apple Music, but if you do, then you will see this on full screen. So the album art that I have right here, which is small, it will be actually big, right? here will be the full screen album art. And in my opinion, it looks actually really, really awesome. The Measure app has also been fully updated on iOS 26.2 and it now offers basically the liquid glass design. It didn't have it with the first few updates. Now it's fully on liquid glass and it actually looks really awesome. Moving to the Games app and we have a few really useful features here. As you can see, we have the library section and when we go here, we can now sort our games, recent games, name and size. And then you will also have filters. So you can choose to display games that are on this iPhone in this case, games from Apple Arcade or games that you play with your friends. Or what's really cool that I really like is 
controller support so you tap right there and it will filter the games and it will only show you games that have controller support that changes also on the on the news app so on the news app we have here the following section and we also have here the today's section where you can go actually and just like just browse different things right there at the top you will have those like different tags that you can actually tap and basically move through them and now we have a following tab right here which used to be the sports tab but now you will have basically everything right here everything that you follow will be right there and then you will have also the different sections the freeform app from apple also has now tables so as you can see right here this is a pop-up that you get once you have updated to ios 26.2 so you can basically now add tables right here tap the attach button add a table and you can go ahead add the table and you will also have the option to of course add more and customize the table from there also for users that have iphones that don't have the dynamic island the silent mode pop-up is now on liquid glass moving on to the settings app we have some new things here to talk about as well first of all we're talking about reminders and as you can see right here we have something called complete from alarm so if you have set up a reminder with an alarm you can actually allow to complete that reminder from the alarm so basically when you tap like the complete button it the stop button for the alarm it will actually complete the reminder as well and right here you can see it says instead of snooze display complete button to stop the alarm and immediately mark as completed now if you disable this then we have some other things here like the snooze button it will basically snooze the alarm for you and the reminder but it has also another new feature called stay reminded it will basically display it on the lock screen as a live activity and also on the dynamic island so you don't actually forget and now let's move on here under accessibility go to audio and visuals right here and there's the feature that a lot of people actually use it's called flash for alerts you use the flash basically the led flash for alerts but now you can also use the screen of your device with ios 26.2 you enable it there and then you can choose the led flash or the screen or even both of them so you will have the option now to basically flash the screen instead of the flashlight and on the password section under the settings app we have something called show excluded websites so you know when you're a website ios will give you the option to create a password or save a password for that website if you tap no then it will remove it and it won't show it again on that website and all of those websites will be found now right here so you can go ahead and remove any website you want from that list now on iOS 26.2, if you go to display and brightness and go to liquid glass, if you try to change this while having the reduced transparency feature turned on, then it won't actually work. And you can see right here, it will say turn off reduced transparency. And now you can actually switch here. But first of all, you will have to reduce transparency to actually turn off reduced transparency. Another new thing with settings is that now you will also have the new notification for is basically safety alerts so apple has added enhanced safety alerts features for the notification so you can use those which is pretty awesome and we have some other things that are new on ios 26.2 as well like first of all eu now has live translation for airpods pro that's really awesome in japan they now have third-party app stores and also when they open the safari app for the first time in japan on ios 26.2 they will get to choose which search engine they want to use it will show up on their screen you will have that option and we have that option a long time ago on the settings app but now it will just pop up when they open safari for the first time also carplay now allows you to disable pinned messages and apple tv plus 
has now been rebranded to Apple TV with iOS 26.2. So that's basically it for this video, guys. These are more than 30 new features and changes that you will find on your device running the new iOS 26.2, which is coming out really, really soon. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash that like button if you did and subscribe for more. I'll see you on the next one.